question. Yay or nay? I'm trying to hook up my Cynthia SMD board. I mean, you know Cynthia, right? So this is the original. Um, I have the pitch knob and the speed knob. This one is volume, that's for the uh, integrated LM386. That's what this knob is for. I'm, I will not install something like that on here. I'll just have the board with a cincher on it and then I'll just add a socket maybe. I'll have to find a socket that I could, can put on here. I've never tested it before and then I thought, hey, that purple PCB might as well be on this pink PCB and then I have those variable resistors potentiometers and they're like teal green turquoise je ne sais pas anyways uh, it looks a bit 90s I like the color scheme so I just solder it up I can always buy another one and spray paint it pink what an investment. I don't think they will fall out, but they might fall out, so let's tap each. I mean one pin per resistor. The cool thing about the resistors is um, it just matches a 10-pack. That's neat. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out um, what, what pin is what, because it's been a while since I've designed the boards. So I fixed them all up and they should be very well. Oh, well, almost. Pew! Uh, oh, okay. I've already sorted up the pins while I was... I don't know why I did that. Anyway, um, there are two resistors and one switch uh, where you can switch the mode of the two resistors that are changeable. Anyway, um, there's a shared tone version and a non-shared tone version. Every one of those can um, play a single separate note. Or there's the synced mode where I have a single pitch shift and they are all synced up to it and behave a, di a bit differently. They behave like Cynthia does. I'm going full 90s on this one. All it wanted was a Pepsi. That's <laughs> so angry on the eyes, I love it. I managed to get in every pin except where is it? This one here. It shows you the middle finger. I'm so sorry for that. Do you really want to see what I'm doing? I've already cranked up the soldering station to 400 Celsius. I can push that down. Yay! Bye bye, breadboard. Okay, and normally just take the snips and then this helps as well. So I put in the snips and just cut at that place. Sorry there. Yeah, my hands were in front of it. But I think you know what I'm doing when I have these cutters in my hand. Okay, trim off the I could file it down, but I mean, it's a prototype, so why should I? Ah, I'm an idiot. Okay, yeah, next time I'll just remove one pin because I was thinking about um, not confusing any pins, so I would leave the spacer in here. I think I want, want it there. It should be as much in the center as I can possibly get it. Okay. Yes. Okay, soldering iron is definitely hot enough now. He said, and then the solder joint looked weird. So at first I was a bit afraid that I did something wrong because uh, while looking at it I hold it in a weird way. Um, but I'm pretty happy that this is actually resistor number one. If you look at it, and 
it matches up to resistor 1, the pin. So I don't have to cross the wires, it's just going here, going there, going there. So the cool thing about this is also um, whenever I do a kit, I can check the PCB in just by plugging it in. There's some stuff I also need, um, mainly switches. There is an R pin. Don't tell me this isn't the red. Oh. Can I breadboard this? Maybe. Somewhat. Sheesh. Okay. I've just put in the switches for counting to 8 or to 10. And then there's up and down, like going forwards and backwards. I almost forgot the switch um, for selecting between synced and not synced oscillators. There's also a power thingy needed and I think <laughs> I'm going with yellow. Almost 11 now, so it's time for a little drill session, isn't it? It took me a while, but I was able to make the DC socket fit. I just had to drill out the holes to make it fit. For the LEDs I'll go with the orangish, yellowish LEDs. They look pretty cool next to the pink. I tried blue as well because of the 90s theme, but it doesn't really work well with the pink, so I'm going with that. So those are 10 millimeter yellow LEDs and I've wired them with some yellow cables to the... Is it the right one? <laughs> yes, it is. It's a bit late, so yeah. Now every resistor is soldered up and I'm currently wiring up this potentiometer. That's the uh, resistor for synchronization. First moments of truth, I'd say. Let's power it up first and then plug in the speaker. What do you think about that? It should be ground. Did I do it right? Yep, center is positive. Oh yeah, hello. Speed. <laughs> okay, I did something wrong. Um. So actually they should go the other way around. Yeah. Okay, this needs a high pass filter. Oh, you're probably already bleeding from the ears, I'm sorry. Okay, so this one does nothing when it's uh, when the sink is off. Why the heck did I build this thing? Uh, there's just one reason. I've made those boards like ages ago. Ages ago, they're like from seven, 2017, so that's older than seven months. <laughs> I really have a hate-love relation with that color scheme. I hate it and I love it because it's so ugly, but it's also so 90s. In the near future, I will um, put a LM386 um, amp over here and maybe find a tiny speaker that fits the color scheme. Yeah, then it's a complete unit, but you can also plug in a bigger speaker if you want to. I also should add a low pass filter, no, a high pass filter, just a low pass filter because you've made, you've might have heard the high pitch noises um, 
they come from the resistors when they're too high and the no too low the resistor is too low and the capacitor can too quickly offload so the frequency is too high and you can hear the pitchy noise and you can actually block that out with two components so i will see about that another project for the wall i guess they're going to look pretty cool next to each other <laughs> I can't get over the color scheme. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That was fun. If you want to know more about this project, um, I will put a link into the description that will lead you to the Hackaday IO page. And there should be a bunch of information. It would be cool to know if anyone would buy something like that on Tindy because um, I think it's a pretty cool kit. I'm not so sure about um, sending it with all the resistors. Um, I think just the PCB in the middle would be interesting to sell. Anyway, um, have a good one and we'll see us in the next video. Bye.